I need to get a trim, don't I? Yeah, my hair's getting too long, but as soon as the wind calms down, the wind's been brutal. Um, honestly, just take a look for yourself. So you can just about hear the whistling of the wind from outside, but look at that. <laughs> Literally broken down our fences. Look at a massive tree. Got an update, another one, another fence has just broken down. I don't even how just <laughs> one there one there one there and then there's a plant pot as well there. so how have these broken off but the shoes are still there let's hope that calms down and reduces the amount of damage it does but anyways <laughs> let's try and stay optimistic hey guys the tv here um welcome back to another video so today i plan to do a video on the current situation with the gcse and a level exams this year uh, for 2022 so you should all know um that exam boards have recently like a week ago um produced some advanced information on what topics will be covered in our um exams and some exam boards have been more lenient than others um, and they've released different sorts of information so that they can guide and help uh, how we revise and how we get taught um, so that the final exam experience is fairer um, for this year's cohort. So I'm lucky enough to actually experience all exam boards. So I'm doing three A-levels. I'm doing Edexcel for maths. I'm doing AQA for psychology and OCR for biology. So I guess I'm quite lucky to experience all three exam boards, how they've got to go ahead with their exams. As a summary, um, I don't think that this set of information has like really restricted and helped us because the final message is that they can still test us on anything, basically. Um, and therefore we can't really cross off parts of the spec. However, as a current student going through this, I've tried to be smart about what I revise and I will be telling you everything um, that I plan to do as we go ahead per subject. Hmm, this is really good. Try one, try some of these if you get the chance. This video, I don't expect it to have a long lifespan. I expect it to go down quite quickly because um, as far as I'm aware, uh, this whole method of advanced information is only going to be relevant to the 2022 cohort um, as they try and ease back into the exams only system that we traditionally used to have. Um, so I assume from 2023, 2024 and so on, uh, it's going to go back to straight up revising the content and that process that element of luck and prediction coming up again um, before sitting exams so i don't expect this video to do that well after this year's exams are done i plan on this video to go in depth with the three subjects i do um, but before i do do that um, i've got two massive bits of advice first which you all need to do no matter what subject you're doing what exam board what um, level first thing is actually look at them you need to actually read it so these all these information just go to google search up i don't know gcse physics aqa higher advanced information 2022 it's really easy to find uh so if you're doing gcse you should be looking at around i don't know 10 11 12 subjects if you're doing A level, luckily you got three. Um, but use the advanced information because it's going to help you get the grade. At the end of the day, if you want the best grades, you're going to try your best to do whatever you can. So make use of them. Even if they're not helpful, um, like some exam boards, oh my days, are completely useless. They've literally just brought out the tenants page of a textbook for that course and just put it on a piece of paper um but some are actually really helpful um 
So at least have a look at it because they've split up um, what's coming up and what isn't going to come up. You can make that sort of prediction. And at the end of the day, your brain's quite finite, so it could help be being smart about what you actually put in there, I guess. <laughs> Secondly, um, print them out. Honestly, like annotate them, print them, save them, bookmark them, uh, do whatever you can uh, because this is literally your exams. I mean, uh, let me just show you something quick. This is my desk space here. This is where I usually do work. And as you can see here, I've just literally made my own document about what stuff is coming up. So here we've got biology, here we've got maths, and then stats and mechanics over there. And then we've got psychology, which seems to be the most biggest. Um, and yeah, so I've just printed everything out and I just always look at these whilst I'm revising. And obviously with my massive board and key information I need. Not only that though, but I've also printed the exact same thing that you've just seen on my wall or as a paper copy, which I always keep on my book. So it for my three subjects. And then I, this is the one which I annotate in a lot more detail. For example, uh, this is psychology. And for psychology paper one, um, I've just highlighted all the um, all the key words and the key bits I need to know. Uh, and I guess this is going back, this is going straight into the first part of this video. So I'll start off with psychology. I think AQA has been the nicest in terms of how much information they've given out. So if you've seen an A-level psychology paper, um, let's stick with paper one, for example. There's social influence, memory attachment and psychopathology. So they've literally given the spec points um, and they've, they've it's in spec order. So we don't know which one is going to be the essay question, for example. We don't know which one's going to be the lower mark questions. But they've literally told you what ones are coming up. So... If we start here, we've got explanations for obedience, agentic state and legitimacy of authority, situational variables affecting obedience, proximity, location, um, and uniform by Milgram. So it makes sense to revise that. Um, one topic that doesn't come up here is types of conformity um, and informational normative, uh, compliance, identification, internalization. None of that's mentioned here. So from my knowledge of psychology papers that's not going to come up at all that i just don't see how they can integrate that with some some of these topics um unless you want to lose marks and write about the wrong things so because of that it makes sense just to go over the bits that they've mentioned here mm. Very healthy. The other thing that I'm doing is that because it's February now and we've got about three months till our exams, um, I plan to go over all of these psychology for each section, paper one, two and three, and make my own notes on a Word document. So everything I've highlighted in blue is everything I've done so far. So as you can see, I'm basically halfway through memory. I've done all of social influence. And that's taken me about four pages on a Word document. So mm, cramming in a way works for me. <laughs> so I'm just planning to the day before this particular exam, just to read that entire Word document, basically concise. Um, and it'll be a maximum of like 10 or 12 pages. Uh, and you can imagine from the massive A-level book, it's 10 or 12 pages from the entire paper. It's really helpful for me. Um, I can be quite confident I know the right things which are going to appear in the exam. AQA psychology, it just makes sense to not revise the things they haven't mentioned, but to thoroughly revise and only revise the things that they have mentioned. And that's the way I'm going to be moving forward with psychology. And I'm quite confident I am taking this the right method. But for maths and biology, uh, it's quite different. Let's move on to maths. Okay, Edexcel maths. From reading online, I've heard the most complaints about that subject. So maths, they have been very broad, very, very broad. Um, oh yeah, just before we do go ahead though, 
um, do research online. So I know that examples have released their own documents of what topics are coming up, but also various third parties and education organisations um, and teachers who are just working outside their job um, have made sub documents of like, summaries of what are coming up and specific 2022 exam videos which are just for this year um, those documents and videos and resources are really helpful so i really recommend sort of being proactive and looking around for those so maths wow um so at the beginning of the video i was saying that some exam boards have literally brought out the contents page and mentioned everything <laughs> at excel at excel have done exactly this so got paper one paper two which are pure and then stats and mechanics paper three they've literally mentioned every single topic that comes up in the book um and it's quite vague um so for example formal proof comes up in the first two papers proof can be anything so it could be anything like prove that the sum of two numbers is always a always divisible by four or um, prove the geometric or arithmetic sequence series works or prove when you expand this it forms this or prove basically prove any mathematical method results in this it could be anything um and then you move on to things like modeling well you get modeling at the end of every single area so you got modeling in exponentials you got modeling in quadratics you got modeling in vectors so basically applying any concept into real life see how broad that is um but then again to be fair it is there are some parts which are quite useful such as trig functions and identities area under a curve so we know there's going to be some sort of overlap with trigonometry and integration um and then yeah basically every single topic you can think up of comes up i think the only topic that's missing from paper one is binomial um so that's good but binomial comes up in paper two and then every other topic which I've had in my head comes up. So I guess that's the unified nature of maths because maths basically involves every single way, every single... Like maths is really interconnected, if that makes sense. Um, and they didn't want to give away too much. So, I mean, this maths really hasn't helped. So I'm just going to continue my method of just revising everything that's coming up to be fair our class in maths is quite behind so we need to cover everything anyway um and then moving on to stats and mechanics again <laughs> it's every single topic that comes up in stats and mechanics so this advanced information really isn't advanced information for maths but i guess that's what at excel have done um anyways Moving on to OCR biology. So biology is my favourite topic. And again, they've been quite broad. Um, but the helpful thing about biology is that they've listed the th um, three papers. And it's quite a tiny bit of information. It's just this. But for each paper, they've mentioned the, the modules, the specific modules in mark order. So, for example, paper one, they've mentioned um, module 5.1.5, plant and animal responses at the top. So that means that, that topic is going to contain the most marks. So it makes sense to focus your revision on there. Followed by respiration and photosynthesis, which my biology teacher always says comes up every year. And look, it's coming up this year again with quite a lot of marks attached to it. So... It makes sense to put a lot of revision into that um, and they've given the exact spec point so you can literally get the specification next to you and just tick off everything as you go so that's really nice in mark order um, and then things like biological membranes which is right at the bottom means that that could also come up uh, th I mean that will come up but it contains less marks but again the biologic 
the nature of biology is just so interconnected so membranes also connects to cell structure also connects to biological molecules also links to respiration and photosynthesis it also links to enzymes it, it's just all so connected um and again it's hard to get information from this uh, the other thing about biology and most of the sciences a levels is that usually quite a lot of the marks is held in the multiple choice questions and because they tend to be one markers they haven't given any information on that but they've said that the lower like the lowest mark topics haven't been mentioned so again it makes sense to revise everything here uh, which doesn't help um so revise everything in biology physics or chemistry whatever one you're doing but put extra emphasis on the say the first three or four topics that come up um close to exam day that's the three subjects i'm doing at a level and the information that i've been given um the links to those documents will be in below for the exam board a level subjects i do so do check those out Again, take the same approach if you're doing GCSEs or AS levels, um, because all those information's online. Be smart about how you go about using that information. Um, but I did notice a key problem that like, psychology has given us a lot more information than biology or maths have done. Um, they've been the nicest. And by this time of the year, People have an idea of what they need to get in uni offers or get into an apprenticeship or what their own personal goal is. So because different exam boards and different subjects have given different levels of information, it now makes getting those top grades easier for some people and a lot more harder for some people. If there's a student taking three subjects which they've given completely minimal information, so they're still required to revise everything, it's going to be a lot harder for them to achieve three A stars in comparison to someone who's been given a lot of information from a really nice example like psychology um, to get three A stars and uni places can be taken and yeah there's just so much there's so much to talk about that uh, but I guess and they've also said about exam um, on, the, on results day about um, grade boundaries being an average across 2019-2021. So I'd imagine they'd be quite high, but higher than the grade boundaries being higher than the 2019 set of exams, but lower than the, the amount of A stars and A's that were given in last year, for example. So they're trying to basically get into that sense of normality. But yeah, that's that's basically all I have to say for this video. I just wish you the best of luck with revision. Mm. This drink is really good though. Wow.